In this video, we are going to learn how to control any electrical appliances with IoT. Here IoT stands for Internet of Things. So this means we are going to control our appliances using Internet. This video is full tutorial on how to make an IoT device at home in less than 500 rupees or $15. This video is separated in four parts. The first part is the hardware part. In hardware part, we will learn how to make the IoT board onto the PCB. The second part is the mobile application. In this part, we will install an application in our mobile. The third part is the coding part. In this part, we will write our code for our microcontroller, which will control our electrical appliances. The fourth part is the testing part. In this part, we will test our boards. So let's move to the first part. To make our IoT board, we will need one Node MCU board, two relays, two BC547 transistors, two 330 ohm resistance, two diodes, and three connectors. Relay works same as a switch works in our houses. Our relay will switch on and off our house lighting and fans. This means a relay can handle up to 220 volts of AC current. To trigger our relay, we are using digital pins D1 and D0 of node MCU. But relay takes sufficient amount of current and that is and that cannot be provided by our node MCU. So we are using a transistor which is BC547 in between to handle the current. So our final circuit will look like this. I want two switches. So I am designing the same for two relays. If you want multiple switches, then using the same concept, you can increase that too. Then I designed a PCB for the same using easyeda.com. Then I ordered the PCB from glcpcb.com after after uploading my files on the order page, I selected the black color and click on add to cart. Then I went to the cart and placed my order and, and pay them using PayPal. I got them in 7 days. Then I grabbed my components and soldered everything on it. So I got my boards ready in just 15 minutes. If you want to know how to solder components, then let me know in the comment section of this video. Then I will make a separate video on how to solder components. Now let's move to the second part. So we will need an Android device for this part. So first of all, go to Google Play Store on your mobile phone. Search for Blink, B-L-Y-N-K and download it. Then create a new account or just log in if or just log in with Facebook. Then click on new project, name your project, then select the board as node MCU. Now a special code will be sent to your email. Now your project is created. Now click on plus sign and drag a button on the screen. Then click on the button, give it a name. Select pin, then click back. Now drag another button and do the same with the second one too. So our mobile app is done. So the third part is the coding part. So first of all, go to your computer screens and open Arduino IDE. First of all, install Node MCU board into the Arduino IDE if you haven't did that yet. To know how to install the Node MCU board, then click on the link in the description. There is a detailed article on my website regarding that. Or if you don't want to go to website, then you can check out one of my videos. Just click on the I button and select that video. Now go to library manager. Search for Blink 
and install that library. Now go to File, Examples, Blink, Board Wi-Fi, then select Node MCU. Now open your email address and search for the Blink email that was sent earlier when we installed the application. Copy it and paste it in your code. Now add your Wi-Fi name and password so that your Node MCU can connect to the internet using your Wi-Fi. If you don't have a Wi-Fi then just turn on your mobile hotspot and give the name of your hotspot and password in the code. Then select board as Node MCU. Select port and click on upload. So the coding part is done. Now the last part is the testing part. Give the board a 5 volts power supply. Your Node MCU will connect to your Wi-Fi automatically. Now open Blink app and click both buttons one by one. You will hear a sound from the relays. That means the relay are working correctly. Now let's add some AC gadgets and try it. See the circuit to understand the wiring. I am just manipulating the same circuit which are used in home. I am just replacing the button with the relay. So then hook, hook it up to the AC mains. I am using a power supply which is one of my older projects to test if the AC is working or not. Then I grabbed my mobile and hit on the button and the power supply turned on. Then I turned off the button and you can see the power supply turned off. This means our project is working correctly. In this way you can control any appliances easily. In, in the same way you can hook up this board to any of your switchboards in your house or in your room. There are pros as well as cons for this project. The cons are you will need a internet to turn on or turn off the appliance every time. But this can be solved out. So my next video on the same project will be how to control this board without using internet just with your Wi-Fi. So stay tuned for that. If you dislike this video then hit the dislike button and if you like then you know what to do. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel go and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icons to get the notification for my upcoming videos. So thank you for watching have a nice day.